investigating the problem, getting results. This is Wave 3 News at 11. Plastic surgery isn't just for middle-aged women anymore. Many teens want to change their looks from a nose job to a bigger bust line. In a special health alert, medical reporter Lori Lyle investigates the pressure to be perfect. When is plastic surgery the right answer, and when is it a big red flag? Crown, this is Teddy Bear, Miss Teddy Bear. Fifteen-year-old Vicki Tan is a veteran when it comes to pageants. Glamour girls and winning. America's gorgeous. But what the judges see, she doesn't. I want to get a nose job and I want my cheekbones to stick out a little bit more. And for graduation? Breast implants. We on our culture have this rather um, uh, prominent concern with um, physical appearance and body image. The most beautiful. They're exposed to it constantly. Many images reinforce the idea that happiness comes from an external source. Pop culture experts say is enticing teens. Tyra Banks. To look to celebrities. On your face. Flawless. When judging self. I love Harry Potter. Britney Spears has a cute nose. And the verdict so can mean hard time. I just want to fit in. And to feel sexy, to be sexy. It's a quest that's leading many to a plastic surgeon. You as a plastic surgeon have the responsibility to kind of sift through that. There's so many variables here. The age, their psychological makeup. Is this a body dysmorphology uh, type uh, syndrome? Well, my nose is no good, my eyes are no good. If we think there are psychological issues, we will say, and you know, with the parent there, and maybe we should have a psychologist, you know, assess um, your daughter. Or, Plastic well, surgeon Mark Salzman says, everybody. while he's getting more requests from teens, he's turning more teens away. Ethics is the primary thing. You have to sleep at night. And, Constantly and so, on the lookout for red flags. Number one, unrealistic expectations are so out of line. Um, then, you, you know, the outcome may be worse. If they're very immature, that's a red flag. Um, if their parents aren't supportive, a big red flag. It's not just pop culture, it's access. Cheaper, more affordable. It used to be a, a sort of, everybody kept it in the closet, nobody talked about it. Dr. But Brad Calabre says for many teens, the request is legitimate. You pick the right teenager, You've done a great service for them, and you really will change their life forever. Uh, I just wanted to be average, and that was all I wanted. I just thought that I was weird. <laughs> it just started getting more and more embarrassing. The number one teen surgery. For my practice, it's dissimilar breasts. It's Both breasts. Tara and Tiffany had one breast two to three sizes smaller than the other. Oh, I feel complete now. I feel like I'm normal. I don't have to hide anything. And though this patient doesn't want to show her face, she no longer disguises her bust line. Like prom dress shopping, that was just horrendous in high school. Just every dress never fit. From a 34, not quite an A, to a 34 C. But she admits it's about more than prom dresses. I, just, I don't think people understand when you don't fit that standard, you feel like you're less. Some of the influence is that celebrities, too, get plastic surgery. Looking at what the celebrities did, it makes it easier for you because, you know, you're not the only one that did it. Ariel started talking about changing her nose in the eighth grade when kids started talking. Pinocchio and stuff like that. It just hurt. And then we would show her going back and forth and then get her input. My self-confidence has risen 100%. I love it. When doctors and parents are convinced. It's one thing's enough. For me. I like everything, I'm fine. If it stops there, you know, that probably was a, a legitimate concern uh, for that person. For everyone else, MTV won't change. Just twelve fifty per piece. Nor will the advertising images. Vicky is still gotcha. two years from graduation. I just think about I should look better. She'll likely mm -hmm. add a few crowns before that day, but will she finally see what the judges see? I wish I could just look in the mirror and tell myself that <laughs> my nose is cute, but I can't. <laughs> what she knows in her heart. Girls should be more confident about their self and people shouldn't worry about what pe other people look like. And that could be the ultimate gift. 
Beyond psychological are medical considerations. Breast implants aren't FDA approved under the age of 18, and if the breasts continue to grow, patients may need to reduce or even change the size of the implant. For nose operations, girls should be at least 14 and boys even older, and most doctors just say no to liposuction, suggesting instead diet and exercise. Back to you.